Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do intermediate algorithm scripting. This is the sum of all numbers in a range. Uh, so basically we want to pass you an array of two numbers and we, we, we want to return the sum of those two numbers plus the sum of all the numbers between them. The lowest number will not always come first. Okay, so that tells us that we need to differentiate between which numbers higher and which numbers lower. And then we need a, we could do a loop or a recursion, but in this, I think a loop makes more sense because recursion is annoying. And if the range was really huge, the recursion would cause a stack overflow. And there's no reason to think that we're not going to be using like large ranges. So, um, for example, sum of all four and one <clears throat> should return 10 because the sum of all the numbers between one and four, one, two, three, four, one plus two is three, three plus three is six, four plus six is 10. Uh, so we wanna read search ask if you get stuck. Okay, so first off we should just say it wants to return a number. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, one and four should return 10. Four and one should return 10. So we need to first off differentiate which one's the minimum and which one's the maximum. Five and 10, five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine should be 45 and then the same at higher numbers okay so the first thing that we want to do is maybe i'm going to be using a bit of uh, node if you don't have node set up um, let me know in the comments and i might make a tutorial about this and maybe a button just popped up to show you how to set up node uh, the great thing about node is that it gives you the opportunity to just it's called a REPL and so um, I want to be able to say like my let's let my array equal uh, one and four okay so if I go my array I get one and four and now I think that there's so I'm just going to javascript my min. Okay, so if I look this up, if I go math min 5 and 10, this should get me 5, right? Because it says the bottom number. And then you can use max as well, and max will give you 10. <clears throat> so what we can do, if we have my array at that, we can do math dot min of my array at point zero and my array at point one this should give us because it's my array is here this should give us the response of one and if we change this guy to max we should get four okay so this is how we can get that so if we go back to our this guy, what we can say is let minimum number is equal to math.min of array at position zero and array at position one. And then let max imum, imum number is equal to math.max of array at zero and array at one. Okay, cool. So now what's going on is if we say, if my array is equal to one and four, we can set, you see what we're doing here is just saying, we're assigning to the variable the minimum number. Ooh, I made a mistake. Okay, in this example, it's my array. Uh, okay, it doesn't like that a minimum number has already been declared. Well, this is that difference between let. So with var, I can over wrote, write that. Uh, 
Okay, so I don't need to declare the new variable. I just need to set it to that. This is just part of the reference. Hmm. Anyways, so what we've done is we've assigned the lower value. So it would be one in this case, it would be one in this case, it'd be one in this case, and it'd be five in this case, and the maximum number to this array. And so then what we want to do is write a for loop. For variable i is equal to the minimum number, and then i is less than or equal to the maximum number, and then we want to increment i by one. This will get us a loop that starts at the beginning and then ends at the end. So the smallest number is where it'll start and then it'll go until the end. Um, also, we want to have a variable for the result. And we want to set that equal to zero because we want to start at zero. So we want to make the result equal to plus equal to i. So as it iterates through one, two, three, four, it's going to be adding that together. So it's going to start at zero, and then it's going to go to the first number, which is one, so the result will become equal to one. And then it's going to go to the second number, two, so it's going to be two plus one is equal to three. And then <clears throat> it'll be three plus three, and then it'll be three plus four, and that'll get us 10. And then we want to return the result. Okay, cool. So this worked. Now, I'm going to take this over to the console, or to my Atom window, where I can run tests on this. And I'm going to put in here console.log i, and then the result. And I'm actually going to add in here i, and then add in. The reason I'm doing this is just to, to show you how it works. So now I can press Command I and run this function. Hmm. Oh, it didn't happen because I need to actually uh, sum all of the array and then the make it. Um, let's go 10 to 15. Okay, cool. So zero. We start off at zero which is the result, and then we apply it, apply 10, and then 10 plus 11, 21, 21 plus 12, 33, 33 plus 13, 46, 46 plus 14, 60, 60 plus 15. And then if we actually console log the result of this, we'll get the resulting number, 75. So the answer of this, all the sum of all the numbers between 10 and 15, including 10 and 15 is 75. And that's pretty awesome. Um, as you can tell, like you can do 150 here and actually get a giant number, right? The sum of all, all the numbers, including 10 to 150, is 11,280. And you can do that really quickly with algorithm scripting. And so that's why this stuff is so interesting and powerful. But um, as you can tell, this is how you pass the tests. This is one way to do it. There's million ways to do it. I'm sure there's more efficient ways to do it, but I think that this is just a simple way to sort of uh, figure it out. Uh, and so yeah, that's it. Hope this helped you guys, and um, I'll see you in the next lesson.